Reading hands during the pick and discard phase of the game requires critical thinking with keen observation of discards and exposures. Typically, when a player has two exposures, you can identify the focus of their hand through a process of elimination. But how can this be done during the Charleston? If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. If you analyze the tiles being passed to determine the tiles being kept, you can read hands during the Charleston. It's time to awaken your inner sleuth and gain an advantage at the table. During the Charleston, Analyze tiles being passed by your opponents to identify tiles being kept. Then use the information to modify your tactics and mitigate the risk of passing tiles your opponents may need to build their hand. This isn't a problem for people who have been blessed with a photographic memory or for someone with a strong short-term memory. For others, this can be a daunting task. Here are three options for a phased approach to reading hands during the Charleston. Start with the player across from you. The reason for this is because you'll have up to three passes that you'll be able to analyze in determining the tiles they're keeping. All right, let's see what we got. We have a flower, three, four in dam singles, one, two, five in cracks, two, four, five, six in dots, green and white dragon. So we'll build around the four. Four, five, consecutive run, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four. All right, so we have to let something go. Let's pass the one we could maybe do two four six eight let's let the green dragon go and the three bam all right so we're going to focus on the player across from us this is the player approach so this is our first right so these tiles were from the player on our left we did get a keeper a five and we do have a four so we have four, five. I think the, the two probably can go because we have four, five. We could do two, four, six, eight, but let's focus on four, five. So let's pass eight, two, and the white dragon. No, let's keep the white dragon. Single pair, Pung Kong. Let's pass five crack, two dot. Now here come the tiles from the player across from us. So we have a keeper here, four, five, six flower, four bam. Let's pass two, one, red so we got a one dot a red dragon and a five dot so they're probably probably not playing little odds okay now here's a seven and an eight five four five six seven eight let's see single three pair pong kong we're going to keep going. I think we should let the eight go and break up the four. So we're on second left. I'm thinking the player across from us is playing big numbers with cracks or bams, maybe mixed suit. All right, 
side. So now we're going to be passing across. Now here we did get, oh, we have a pung of fives. I would not play two, four, six, eight. We have a pung of fives. So what we really would like to get is probably a three dot. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna pass. And we received three dot, red, and a six bam. So they're probably not playing three, six, nine. They're, and so likely they're playing cracks because last time we got dots, this time we got a dot and a bam. We did get our three dot, by the way. So let's pass red dragon six bam eight dot. All right, and we're going into the across pass now. We didn't get any keepers, incidentally. They want three, perfect. We can do three, and then we'll see what we get. thinking on it. Hmm. We're going to time out. Oh, here we go. All right. What are we going to get? Four bam, three crack, eight dot. Four bam, Six three crack, eight dot. All right, so let's discard. We have single pair Pung Kong, so really the seven can likely go. So let's, we do have four five there. So that's a little bit of a pattern. Let's discard the eight dot. Eight dots. Five now bamboos. we're going to watch hesitations. There's a hesitation on the five bam. It could be the player on our left. Could be the player across from us. Five bamboos. They just discarded five bam, so they don't want five bam. Six characters. All right, we have a wind. Let's let that go. Now Found they did wind. not pass any winds. They did pass dragons, but they did not pass any winds. There's a hesitation on the wind. One character. So we have a hesitation on a win. We don't know if it's the player across from us or, or the player on our left. North win. There's a hesitation on the north. We don't know if that's the player on our right or the player across from us yet. We did Three get a joker. Characters. We have single pair Pung Kong Kong, Dragon Five Hand bamboos. maybe. Mm, we're going to pass on that. Five dots. Okay, so they discarded a five dot. We have a pun there. We're okay there. And we don't think they want five. They actually passed a five dot. So we don't... Nine There's characters. nothing more we can glean on that. Now, there's a hesitation on a nine crack. A slight hesitation on a nine crack, which is one potential tile, but they did pass three, six, nine. Seven dots. They did pass three six nine tiles, so one I don't character. That might might be the player on our right who might have wanted that nine one crack. Dot. All right, so they discarded one dot. Red dragon. Okay, so I would not here play the dragon hand, so we're gonna let the white dragon go. I think we White should switch dragon. to either three, four, five, White or four, dragon. five, six, and we'll let this Two go. Two characters. All right. So they discarded a little, a little crack, little crack. So I'm thinking they're playing Red big, dragon. 
big cracks, big number cracks. All right, here we have three flowers now. I think we should play Pear Pung Kong. Um, and we Four can Kong bamboo. the five dot, Quint the flowers. West so wind. Pear three dot, Pung four dot. Three characters. Okay, so there's a little crack. A little crack. West out. wind. I'm thinking maybe they're playing big, big odds and cracks. Red dragon. Six bamboos. Red dragon. They passed a red dragon. Nine bamboos. There's a hesitation on the nine bam. I think that might be, it, the player on our right could be doing that. All right, so let's let this five crack go and this will be interesting. Let's see what happens. Five characters. No, no hesitation. Four so bamboos. So five crack, not a keeper. Maybe they're doing big consecutive Eight numbers bamboos. and cracks. Like Eight six bamboos. or nine. We'll let the south go. South they could be wind. doing like numbers. There's another hesitation hmm. on the south. Okay, north and south Eight with dots. odds, maybe. Maybe north and south with odds, or they could be playing the wind hand, Eight third dots. one down. So that is a possibility. Seven characters, one No dot. hesitation there. So there was a hesitation on a nine. No other nines are out. I'm wondering if they're playing seven north characters. and south with nines. They just discarded a seven crack. Seven dots. Uh, so no, interested in, no interest in sevens. Five Maybe they're bamboo. playing the wind hand, third one down, or north and Four south characters. with nines. Let's see. Three bamboos. They did discard a three crack. One cracks are out, so maybe nines. Four characters. Okay, here goes the north. I'm playing to win. North win. Let's see if they pung. Pung. All right, we got a pung. Flower. Oh, yeah. We, we can quint that. We can quint that. Quint. And now we're ready on a three dot. Six dot. Ready to win on a three dot. Three dot. There it is, Mahjong. Mahjong. North and south with nines. North and south with nines. So the outcome is they were playing north and south with uh, uh, odds, nines. With this process, always keep in mind that looking for, by process of, elim of elimination on what they're keeping, like numbers is gonna be challenging to peg. And also year a year hand might be a challenge. So keep in mind that like numbers and year tiles could be an anomaly in this particular or a variable to consider while you're trying to narrow down what hand your opponent could be playing. Those would be the lessons learned. Year tiles or year hands and like numbers are variables that are challenging to identify. Okay. All right. like numbers with oh and they were oh no they weren't ready they needed to they had too many jokers they were going to need to give up a joker they needed two pair in their nines so 
still a pretty early build. And let's see, this player was playing, let's see, 7, 8, dragon, 3, 4. I think they were gathering. And over here, we have 1, 2, year, year hand maybe, or like numbers with 2s. Maybe they were hoping for white dragons, but they were going down. And then, of course, here we have Pear Pong Kong with a quint of flowers. Segmenting phases by player is useful anytime, anywhere, with anyone. You're going to start with the player across from you because you're going to get three passes from them. Then when you're comfortable, add the player to your left and when you're comfortable there, add the last player. All right, here we go. We're going to focus on the player on our left. They have the um, three stripes on their belt. So we are going to focus on the player on our left. So we're going to get a first pass from them. So for our hand, we have no, no multiples. Oh, the red dragon. We've got a red dragon. So how about 2, 4, 6, 8 in dots, leveraging the red dragon. We could also maybe play consecutive run with dragons. suppose we could see if winds go around. So here we go. And we're going to focus on the tiles from the player on our left. We have a north, seven crack, eight bam. Okay, so they're keeping little numbers so far. Um... little numbers little numbers they're not they're they're letting winds go okay so let's let let's see here we have north east red we have two sevens here and a one two let's keep the sevens here we go so we're going across. No keepers. We could pass one of each suit. We're doing first left. Got a dragon. Maybe we can play the concealed wind hand. We should keep going. Now here though, look, we have two, four, six, eight dragon. We could maybe play that and let these go. So we can continue two, four, six, eight dragon. Let's do that. So let's pass two wins and a seven. I, I typically don't like passing two wins. Okay, now this is second left. Second left, so we're going to get another pass from the player on our right. And we got a dragon, which we really don't need, but we could keep it. Oh, no, no, we don't want to keep it. We got a pair of sevens there. But I think two, four, six, eight dragon might work. We just need one, an eight bam in there. Okay, so we're going across. We got a dragon and sevens, but we don't want to pass like numbers. I don't like passing like numbers, so we're going to pass. Now, this is last right, so we're going to get a pass from the strong player on our left. 
So we have a little number in there. Maybe they're in dots. So we've got a, a seven, seven crack, three crack, five bam. So likely maybe keeping dots, uh, little numbers in dots. Likely not playing little odds. Let's do three. Could be playing little odds and dots. Okay. And they're passing fully. Okay. Green they, dragon. They, oh, they discarded a green dragon. So let's discard north. North wind. And we're looking for an eight bam. And of course, we're going to need to Kong our dragons. East wind. Or we could Kong the red, Five but we need bamboos. help with our white dragon. Seven bamboos. Okay, we can discard that. So they discarded a big, East big wind. bam. Big Bam got discarded there. South Wind. No little numbers are out yet. And no dots. Seven let's, characters. Let's discard. Let's pass that. Let's discard a three dot next and see what happens. Green Dragon. Okay, another Green Dragon. So, Green Dragon. Let's discard the three dot. Let's give it a minute. Let's discard nine crack first. Nine characters. Okay, there was a tiny seven hesitation characters. there. Okay, seven crack. We don't need that. Maybe next time we can discard this three dot. Three characters. Okay, now, oh, that's probably us. We have a three crack Green there. dragon. And, oh my gosh, they gave up a pung of green dragons. Okay, let's let the three dot go. Three dots. There's a hesitation on the three dot. Okay, big hesitation on the three dot. Three characters. We'll pass. I think that was us. That hesitation was us. Nine dots. Pretty sure. Two dots. Okay, they threw away a small dot. Little dot went out. A little dot went out. Maybe they're playing little odds. Little odds. East wind. They could be playing little odds and dots. Five characters. Maybe. And you know what else? They could be holding the white dragon. Because there is a little odd dragon hand. We, we're holding singles. We need an eight bam. Four bamboos. We'll pass. Seven characters. Seven characters. Okay. Four dots. No hesitation on the four dot. Six bamboos. Okay, we don't need that. We're looking for an eight bam. Oh, flower, that's a keeper for us. Three characters. So we still need these dragons. Nine bamboos. We need to Kong dragons here. Four dots. Okay, here we go. One bamboo. One bam is out now there. Four characters. No one dot or five dot have been discarded. No white dragons have been discarded. Three dots. Okay, now there's a hesitation on the three dot again. Now, Four if they're dots. playing that dragon hand, they need a pung of threes. If that's what Two they're doing. Two bamboos. Okay, we're going to pass. Two bamboos. Six characters. Now they could be playing three, six, nine. Six dots. Let's see, are there, there's a nine dot out. That was thrown by the player across from us. Maybe they're playing three, six, nine in dots. Three dots. They just dis discarded a three dot. Maybe they gave up on their dot, their three dot hand. They could be playing six characters. Three, six, nine. 
There are some Two hesitations dots. on six cracks somewhere. Seven bamboos. But, let's see, the six crack was thrown by the player on our right. Five bamboos. Two crack we can let go. Two characters. Now this player to our left could be playing a year Five. hand or they could be playing Five like numbers. Characters. Those are the two kickers to this strategy. Three dots. They gave up on the three dots. Seven they dots. just discarded two, and they let Pungs go, unless they just picked the three dot. West wind. They Six could have characters. maybe picked the three dot, and they may have switched their hand at this point, because the three dots were going down. The only way to know will be at the end, Nine when we see the outcome. South wind. Eight characters. All pass. There's still no eight bams out. Five bamboos. But there, you could see they only have dots, uh, three dots in front of them. No other dots. So one bamboo. Maybe they're playing five seven nine in dots. Five seven nine five in dots. Bamboos. Or big Flower. odds in dots. Okay, so we don't need that. We need to. We need to. No, where are the where are the um, dragons here? White dragon. There's a white dragon. We're gonna go ahead and Kong it. Kong. Seven bamboo. There are two jokers out. That's a little risky. Four Maybe they're playing con Five two dots. consecutive numbers. That's another one that's a little challenging Kong. to identify. Okay, there's a five dot Kong. Five dot Eight Kong. Dots. Kong of five dots. Okay, now northeast. They could be playing like numbers with fives. Let's let the five crack go. Five characters. The thing is, all the fives are going down. So I don't think West they're doing wind. that. I think they're playing big odds, not five, seven, nine. Flower. Five, seven, nine with flowers. We'll pass. Five, seven, nine. Two dots. We got the eight bam. Eight characters. Okay, so what we really need in here is a red dragon at this point, or a white dragon. We could get our, our tile back. Let's see here. I forgot to document their discards. Nine here. bamboos. Three dot. Nine dot. Five, five bam. Five bam. Nine eight dots. dot. Two dot. East. North wind. North. Nine bamboos. Some of the tiles towards us here. Those could be ours. Nine characters. Okay, now we need to pick a white dragon. Eight dots. Green dragon. All right, let's discard that eight crown. Eight characters. Three bamboos. White dragon. Oh, someone got one our, bamboo. Someone got our dragon. There's one more. South wind. Oh, they discarded a south. Oh, we got the Joker. Nice. And we're semi stealth. Dragon. Nobody's gonna know what we're playing, which is good. No red dragons are out right now. No red dragons are out. Three characters. Nine dots. Nine dot. Okay, that's a surprise. So one character. Three, four dots are out. Now they could be doing five, six, seven in dots, because there's only one six dot and one seven dot out. Four so dots. So they could be playing five, six, seven in dots. Flower. We'll pass. Five, six, seven dots One with bamboo. flowers. 
We can let the eight dot go. Eight dots. Six bamboos. And five, six are on the littler side. Five, hmm. six, okay. Two, four, six, White eight. Dragon. Two, four, six, eight, they're playing over there. Eight characters. The player across from us will discard a red dragon. I'm hoping that the player on our Three left bamboos. should throw a red dragon too. The player Seven on our right, bamboos. it's kind of hard to know what they're doing. I don't see a, any little crack. Well, no, we do have one five crack. Joker. It looks like they might be doing little cracks. There's Nine a five characters. crack over there. Little cracks. We'll figure it out when we see the outcome. Eight dots. Okay, we need a keeper. Three bam can go. Three bamboos. Oh, wait a minute. I missed their last discard. Nine crack. Five characters. Six characters. Okay. Oh. I think I've been documenting this in the wrong place. Oh, we got Mahjong. Okay, so five, six, seven. They're playing um, consecutive run number five. Number five. So they had one exposure and we pegged it. Uh, one, so basically five, six, seven in dots. Okay. So, okay, we've got two, four, six, eight dragon, um, offsuit dragons. And then over here, they're holding six seven. They needed to Kong the six and the seven. So they were gonna need another Joker, but they were one away. And then over here we have two, four, six, eight ready to win on an eight or a four. But we have the eight bam here. Over here we have a player with the four. So that was a really close race. We have um, news with like numbers, but they couldn't get flowers. Okay, so the lesson learned there, keeping little numbers, dots, eight dot. So we didn't see any, we, they did discard, or they weren't, they didn't pass any dots at all. So they were gathering, but then they were discarding little dots and an eight dot, nine dot later in the game. So that left four through seven in their hand potentially, but there were four dots out discarded by other players. So by process of elimination, we, we would be able to identify that they were playing five, six, seven in dots, Kongs, during the pick and discard phase. Segmenting phases by skills is ideal for recurring social groups. What you're going to do is analyze passes from the most skilled player first. Then when you're comfortable, add the next skilled player and finally the last player. playing another game. This time we're going to focus on the tiles being passed from all the players. Now we're not going to track the discards. It's a little challenging to, to document all the discards going around, uh, being discarded once we get to that phase of the game. So may not document those, but we'll document the tiles being passed. We almost have news. And we do have a pair of fours and a pair of flowers. We do have two, three, six, seven, and bam, six, nine in in uh, mixed suits. Maybe we could play three, six, nine. We can't keep it all though. So let's let. Oh, this is really risky. Two, six, seven. I don't think so. I would just. I would play one of each suit here, and maybe maybe focus on like numbers. Let's pass the seven. All right, so this is first right. So the player on our left, player four, we've got an east seven dot and a six bam. 
so we're building wins we have a pair of six bams now since we don't have a four other than this four crack pair we're going to focus on sixes so maybe like numbers with sixes and news okay now we're going across we have five crack eight bam four dot one of each suit so this will be interesting maybe they're playing big numbers in dots no keepers so we can pass those on Okay, so this was first left, eight dot, seven crack, five bam, maybe keeping little numbers. And the player across from us playing big dots or cracks, big cracks or four dots. And we'll keep going. Player on our left, little numbers, keeping little numbers. Oh, I thought I clicked yes. Okay. All right. So we're looking for sixes really. All right. Let's, let's let the seven crack go. So this is second left. So the player on our right will be giving us tiles. We've got seven dot, four crack, eight dot. Since they passed a four crack, let's think either little numbers in dots, maybe bands, maybe bands. Little numbers in dots and bands, maybe. Okay, so we did get the four crack back. Here we go. Maybe we should have kept the four crack and gave up an east. So this is a cross. So here we got the four dot, eight bam, and a five crack. That's interesting because they passed a five crack and an eight dot in the other cross. So they could be playing big cracks or big dots, basically the same pattern. Um, so let's pass on the east this time. Maybe we'll get the fours back. All right, now we're getting the play the tiles from the player on our our left. Seven bam, four dot, eight bam. Okay, so little numbers again in cracks and bams. Little numbers, cracks and bams. Maybe that's kind of an assumption. We'll see. Okay, they want two. Let's see here. We have six, eight, seven, eight. I don't want to send them seven, eight. Let's give them two, an eight and a six. This is a player across from us. They gave us eight bams, so we know that's pretty safe. Big cracks or dots. So let's go ahead and give them a six and see what happens. Now this is um, this is optional cross. We got another eight dot Eighth win. and a seven crack. Okay, so let's see. Let's discard seven, seven crack. Seven characters. All right, now here we go. We're not going to track characters. discards. We'll watch and observe. Eight bamboos. But we're not going to document every discard for Five three players. Characters. That's too time consuming. So we'll just play the game Nine dots. and definitely will leverage fours. Seven bamboo. Some, oh, there's the four crack. I hope we didn't Six throw that. Characters. All right, that's okay. Two dots. We got a four bam. Eight dots. Keep the four bam. Two characters. Okay, so seven, four two, characters. six. Little numbers and dots or bams for the player on our right. Big cracks or dots Nine from the player characters. across from us. Little numbers and cracks and bams to our left. That's kind of what I'm assuming. Seven bamboos. Little numbers with, they threw Two away a four dots. crack. 
So maybe little numbers in BAMs. Nine characters. Little numbers in BAMs. Eight bamboos. Okay, two crackers out. Two characters. Eight we, we can document hesitations and exposures. If you have the Three time, bamboos. I suppose you could document discards, but it's pretty time consuming building your own hand and documenting White discards. Dragon. I have found. All Three right, bamboos. we have help with a, a, one of our fours. Maybe the four cracks should go because there are dots. already two out. Two characters. We're going to need a south. Now, only one wind went around. Seven Somebody dots. else is playing winds, the east right there. So I think eight characters. The players on our right and across from Seven us, characters. they may be playing a wind hand. One or both of them. Could even be news. Six but dot. So somebody else is playing winds. Otherwise we'd be seeing winds being discarded. The player Two to our characters. left, I don't think, is playing winds. They threw a, dots. an east. I suppose they could be playing north and south. But Eight dots. the east was discarded in the first round of discards. One character. West wind. There goes the west. Oh, we got a joker. Nice. Six bamboo. So we're ready to Kong and then maybe be ready on that One south. Dragon. But somebody else is playing winds here. Two bamboos. One dot. Six bamboos. Five dots. One character. Player to our right, little numbers, dots, and bams. There are no little bams Eight in front wins. of them at all, or dots. White dragon is out. Player across from dragon. us, big cracks or dots. They have an eight dot there. That could have been from the player on Six the right. characters. Big cracks or dots. Now, whenever there are big numbers, it could be big odds or it could be a big run. Three Same dots. with the little numbers. It could be little numbers, uh, little little odds or a little run, like one, Six two, three. Dots. Okay, we did get a flower here. Six we characters. really don't need it, though. We need a pair of, Five of flowers unless... We switch to like numbers with all fours. But there are already two four cracks out unless we get a pair Eight there. Bamboos. I wouldn't do that. There's another flower though. So here I would do it. We have our Kong of flowers. So uh, we could maybe Kong the four Seven crack characters. and be ready on a pair of four bams. Seven bamboos. Seven dots. Seven dots. Either way, the four crack Six could bamboos. be our pair. So let's just see what Eight happens. Eight characters. Three characters. Let the wind, uh, the, North the winds wind. go. Six dots. Okay, that's a player to our right. Little numbers in bands. They just threw a six dot. Oh, let's Kong. Kong. Okay. East wind. So now we need to either Kong the four crack Three or the dots. four bam. Five dots. Eight bamboos. Red dragon. First red dragon out. There was a tiny hesitation there. Three dots. Okay, so little dots. Let's see, player on the right. Little bams. They're playing. I think they're playing little Seven bams. Seven characters. Or little little odds with bams. Here's. Uh, they have three dots out. So one dot. The player across from us are big numbers. I think three the player dots. on our left, little numbers in bams, or cracks. They South threw a three wind. crack here though. Little numbers in bams maybe. East wind. Mahjong. Okay, so 
they had okay so we're gonna see what if what we got going here okay so this is a player across from us and they were playing wins concealed news concealed and they did not pass any wins so they could have been playing wins um, so wins keep an eye on wins when you're analyzing passes so news concealed the player across from us the player to player number two the player to our right was playing like numbers with nines the like numbers really kind of is a big consideration here like uh, little numbers dots and bands they had a mixture and that's that's the kicker with like numbers because you have a mixed suit and you never know what number they could be focused on they passed uh, four crack they passed a five bam a, a seven crack seven dot eight dot eight two eight dots so they were keeping nines so they had like numbers with nines like numbers number one with nines and then the player let's see here the player on our left had one through five in bands and we thought they were doing little numbers and bams or cracks so that was a good assumption there so we have consecutive run number one in bams one through five little numbers primarily one through five five is in the middle but heavy on the one one through four and uh, they were three away they might have been holding the flower for a potential pair hand there okay so wins and like numbers can those are variables to consider while analyzing passes segmenting phases by round is by far the most challenging it's ideal for drop-in games or tournaments where you don't know the players very well if at all analyze the passes from all three players in the first round then when you're comfortable, add the second round. Take your assumptions from the Charleston into the pick and discard phase of the game. Observe discards by each of the players and also observe their exposures to validate your assumptions because by process of elimination, you can validate those assumptions made during the Charleston and use the information to modify your tactics and prioritize discards to mitigate risk. Reading hands during the Charleston will take time to master. Choose the best option for your situation. Segment phases by player position segment phases by skills or segment phases by round start with the first phase when you're comfortable add the next step eventually you'll train yourself to read hands through the entire game use the information from reading hands to modify tactics for your own hand mitigate risks and optimize your potential to win if you like this video Give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing click the little gray bell if you do that way you'll get notification for when i post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next video may all your picks be keepers